I can't tell you how many times I've seen riders sitting at an intersection or in traffic with their bike in neutral or off. Now in this video, I will discuss why I think this is a bad idea. And I hope that the information that I share with you will change your mind if you're doing this. So stay right there. Hey, I'm Paul the Motor Guy and welcome to my channel. Now, if this is your first time here and you want to take your ride into the next level, then hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you don't miss any new videos. Now, over the years, I've noticed that many riders use the time that they're stopped at an intersection or in traffic to relax. Now, I've seen them with the bike in neutral, the hands off the handlebars, and the legs stretched out. Okay, well, maybe not that bad, but you know what I'm talking about. So why is this a big deal? Well, where I live, there are thousands of crashes at intersections every year. So this tells me that this is not a time to be relaxed. Now, all these crashes did not involve motorcycles, but that really doesn't matter because you could easily be caught up in a secondary crash. Now, if you're in a vehicle, you're probably going to be OK. But if you're on a motorcycle, who gets the worst end of that deal? Or what if you're in neutral and the vehicle behind you is not stopping? There is a very slim chance that you will be able to notice the hazard put the motorcycle in first gear and then escape the hazard before being struck from behind. Now, I don't like using words like never or always because those are words that are hard to live up to. But the only time you will ever find me in neutral is if I have to clean up my glasses or my face shield or adjust a piece of equipment. But before I put the bike in neutral, I will make sure there are at least five or six cars stopped behind me as a buffer. Now, once I see that, I will put the bike in neutral quickly do whatever needs to be done, and then I'm right back in first gear. Now, not only am I in first gear, but my head is on the swivel, looking for any potential hazards. And I'm planning what I'm gonna do if a hazard presents itself. Now, the way I look at it is if I can see the hazard coming and I have some type of plan, I at least give myself a chance to survive it. Now, I want you to think back to when you first started riding. Do you remember how uneasy and exposed you felt when you had cars traveling next to you? Then as we get some ride time under our belts, having cars around us doesn't really bother us that much anymore. And we tend to forget just how close vehicles are to us. Now, as you're watching this next video, I want you to notice just how close vehicles are to me as I'm waiting to make my left turn at an intersection. The distance between me and those vehicles are about six feet or less. We all know that drivers are more distracted now than ever before. Not just because of cell phones, but also because of the stresses of life, which should make us very uneasy. So keep it in first gear, have a plan and keep your head on the swivel. Your life may just depend on it. Now, at the end of the day, we all have a certain level of risk that we're willing to take. So the purpose of this video was to give you something to think about. Now, I want to thank you for watching, and if you found value in this video, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Now, until next time, practice, 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 and ride safe.